answer a question, you must provide your answer within three seconds. When the three seconds are over, you will hear the bell. When you hear that bell, it means whatever you are in the middle of saying at that time, that's your answer. And it is likely to fetch the penalty point. Please get directly to the answer. I am not interested in the question was, uh, Madame, yes, I am Madame. I am not interested in we have, and then some elongated answer. Just get to the point. I hope we are okay with that. Great. All right. So now, um, the speed race, as I mentioned, is sponsored by Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for every life, for every future. All right. Let's begin. This question, this set of questions will require 30 seconds of your time. First one. A 38.4 milligram sample of a radioisotope has a half-life of 62 seconds. What mass of the sample will have decayed after 310 seconds? Yes, Daniel? 37.2 milligrams. Yes. <laughs> Next one. 12.6 grams of a metal M reacts completely with 60.0 centimeter cubed of 3.0 mole per decimeter cubed of acid A. In the reaction, M plus 3A going to MA3. Calculate the molar mass of the metal. Daniel? That is two. 170 gram per mole. That's incorrect. Who ran? <laughs> yes. 210 gram pe grams That's per mole. That's right. <laughs> Next one. Given that the solubility of anhydrous magnesium nitrate in water is 70 gram per 100 centimeter cubed, at 25 degrees Celsius, calculate the molar solubility at this temperature to two significant figures. Did they make it? No. Sudden? They did. Okay, go ahead. Four point four point eight more per decimeter cube. Unfortunately not. Right answer is 4.7 mole per decimeter cube. That close. All right, next set, 10 seconds each. How would fertilization be impacted if an embryo sac lacks synergies? Yes, an, perpetual. If an embryo sac, sac lacks synergies, Fertilization would not be able to occur. This is because the pollen tube will no longer be attracted towards the egg for fertilization. Since the synergies yes. possess.
SHS 3 biology student is studying a species of lizard and documenting all of its physical characteristics. Name the type of symmetry that the lizard... Yes. Daniel? Bilateral symmetry. Yes. <laughs> Blood sugar levels in the human body are regulated by a few different organ systems which work together. In what way does the digestive system regulate blood sugar levels in humans? Yes, Daniel. So the digestive system produces certain enzymes for that catalyze the breakdown of this blood sugar or the sugar that can be broken down so that no, no, it's broken down. No. Who else ranks? Yes, um, Rosalinda. The pancreas produces insulin, which converts excess blood sugar in the body into glycogen, which is stored under the cells. Well, when mm. there is... No. No. I'm not accepting it. All right. So what the digestive system is doing is it's working along with the nervous system to respond to hunger, hunger, by telling the human body that it needs food. Okay. So yes, when you are hungry, that's your digestive system helping you out. OK. Next set, 30 seconds. Find the coordinates of the points on the curve. Y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 3, where the gradient is equal to 2. Yes, Clinton. The point is 1, comma, negative. Four and negative three comma four. That's incorrect. Who else ranks? <laughs> yes, uh, one comma negative six and negative three comma twenty four. That's incorrect. Yes. The first point to be one comma. Zero, and the second point to be negative three comma twenty four. Yes, that's right. <laughs> However, I want to make a small comment. It's about being elegant about how you say these things. Coordinates of a point. You don't need to be saying comma. So you say one zero negative three twenty four. That's more beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Find the sign of the angle between the vectors. A is equal to 2i minus j. And B is equal to i plus j. Yes, Daniel? That's a fraction with numerator 1 and a denominator of the expression we have the square root of 10. No, I'm not accepting it. Somebody else rang? Yes. 1 over 3 root 33. That's incorrect. So I continue reading. Simplify your answer as far as possible. Go ahead, Rosalinda. A fraction with numerator root 33 and denominator 99. No. <laughs> the right answer is 3 root 10 over 10. 
Next one. Find the least value and the greatest value of the expression x squared minus 12x plus 24 in the interval negative 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. Yes, Daniel. The greatest value is 24, and the least value is 0. No, who else ran? Yes, Alex. The least value is negative 12, and the greatest value is positive 4. That's incorrect. Hmm. The least value is 4. The greatest value is 88. Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds each. A scale with an object on it reads 60 newtons in an elevator accelerating upward at 2 meters per second squared. Find the scale reading when the elevator is accelerating upward at four. Yes, Fabna. 70 Newton. Yes. I thought you already answered it. <laughs> it's a phantom question. <laughs> All right. Next one. Find the the Broglie wavelength of a 5.0 kilo electron volts electron. Yes, Pabna? At 2.5 by 10 to an exponent of negative 10 meters. That's incorrect. Who else ran? 2.5 okay. by 10 to the power negative 11 meters. No. You also rang, Alex. 2.5 by 10 exponent negative 9 meters. No. <laughs> the right answer is 17 picometers. 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 11 meters. Hmm. Last question. Find the magnitude of the axial magnetic flux density three centimeters above a circular current loop of radius four centimeters and current 12.5 amperes. Right answer is 0 0.2 milli Tesla, and that's the end of the speech.